we are going to like dive really into this plural plurality method, which is again, the person with the most votes wins. And we'll do that with this first example. So in this example of the animal kingdom election, right, we have alligator, baboon, cheetah, and dolphin who are the candidates. Okay? And then there are 37 animals who are gonna submit a preference ballot and they're going to rank all of their choices. Okay? And they gave us all of this data here. Okay? So if I look at this data, the first ballot shows dolphin in first place, cheetah in second place, baboon in third, alligator in fourth. Okay? And if you'll notice, the second ballot has the same ranking system. Ballot eight also has the same ranking system. Okay? So we're gonna take all of this, figure out how many ballots are the same and organize that information. And that's what I have here. There were eight people or eight animals, sorry, animals who voted the same as ballot one. Dolphin first, cheetah second, baboon third, alligator fourth. But if you look at this fourth voting, um, this green one that I have highlighted, there's 14 of these. 14 people voted alligator, baboon, cheetah, and then dolphin as their ranked order. So again, all of this data is just a lot. So we want to make it into like a more concise table to just read the, the data a little bit better. It's kind of overwhelming to have all of this here. Um, but again, you will notice there are these 37 ballots. Um, only one person, or only one animal, sorry, um, had the preference of ballot 37. So we take all of this data and we have five different choices, right? We have the pink order, the green order, the blue order, the salmon color ordered, and this purple order. And we took all of this data and put it into this preference schedule. So if you rem remember, if you look at your previous table, there were 14 voters who had that ranking system. Okay? There were 10 voters, and I think it was in blue, who had this ranking system and so forth. So you'll also notice that this system at the top tells me I do have 37 total voters, and it gives me the five different ranking systems that the voters chose. Now, we should feel comfortable reading these, um, this preference schedule. So for example, if I look at this piece here, right, this means that four animals, four of these animals voted baboon as their number one pick. Okay, four animals voted baboon as their number one pick. Now, if I want to look at, let's say, the third choice, I want to know about the cheetah. So I want to know how many people chose cheetah as their last pick, as their third pick. So I go here and I have 14, right? There's 14 animals who chose cheetah as their third choice. But if you notice, there's also four more voters who did the same thing. Right, so in total, 18 animals voted the cheetah as their number three, as their third choice. So again, this, this preference table schedule puts all of this information together to allow us to analyze it a little bit easier than all this overwhelming information. Now, based on the ballots from these 37 animals, if we are voting by plurality, that means that alligator wins because alligator has 14 first choice votes, baboon only has four, cheetah actually has 10 over here, and then one more at the very end. So cheetah has 11, and then dolphin has eight, okay? and that's this middle piece. So if we're going just strictly based off of plurality, then that means alligator wins. Alligator wins this election if we are voting by plurality. Now, we want to ask, is this fair? Yes, alligator took most of the votes, most of the first choice votes. But because they ranked it, this gives us a little bit more insight because 14, right, 14 animals chose alligator as their first choice. But if you look at this fourth place row, a lot of animals did not want alligator at all. And if we count that up, right, I have 10, 8, 4, and 1, a total of 23 animals they ended up voting alligator as their very last choice. So they voted alligator as their very last choice. So is this plural plurality system fair? Because more people didn't, more animals did not want alligator in office 
than the people who did want him to be elected. This is an example, again, of, of how fair this plurality method is. One thing that is often brought up is this idea of majority wins, right? So we said plurality is called sometimes first past the post or standard voting. Another method that we'll explore is this majority method. Majority of the votes would mean that we would have more than 50%. So 50% of the votes plus a little bit more. So in our previous example, we had 37 voters. If I want to see who has the majority of the votes or how many votes make up a majority vote, I'm going to take the 37 and I'm going to take half of it. Right? So I'm taking 50% of the votes and that gives me 18.5. Now I can cut an animal, I mean, I guess we do cut animals in half when we eat them, but they're voters. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to this and I'm just gonna round up and say, I need 19 first place votes to win the majority vote. Now, again, this is the same table as before. And we said we needed 19 votes to have a majority winner. And we said alligator only has 14. We said cheetah has 11, dolphin has eight, and baboon has four. So no one has the majority vote. Alligator won the plural plurality vote, but did not win the majority vote. Okay, and this is very important. Just because you win the plurality vote does not mean that you will win the majority vote. We'll explore more of this in the next video.